Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Neha and today's topic is subnetting. Subnetting means logical division of IP address. And for better understanding, let's take an example. In every organization, we have different departments like sales department, accounts department, marketing department, HR department. And in every department, let's say we have let's say there there are 55 users and my requirement is that that all these departments should not communicate with each other for that what i can do is i can configure them in different networks let's say i am assigning class c network so these are the different different departments and let's say i am assigning class c network so i have assigned 197.10.1.0 ip to accounts department and 197.10.2.0 ip to marketing department and 197.10.3.0 to hr department and 197.10.4.0 IP to sales department now this is my class C network and in that case by default we have three network ID portion and in order to be in a same network network ID should be same and host ID should be different as per rule number seven which I have already explained in IP addressing video but you can see here network IDs are not same this let's say this is my network ID 197.10.4 and this is my network ID so if you will see here network IDs are not same so they cannot communicate with each other without a router since they are in different network that's the reason they cannot communicate but there will be a lot of wastage of IP address in class C in one network we have 254 usable IPs so if I am assigning 55 users to each and every department then I'll be using only 55 IPs that means I am wasting 254 minus 255 equals to 199 so that means we are wasting 199 IP so we will use subnetting to reduce the wastage of IP address let's take one more example so as you can see here we have two routers connected and we have five users connected to one interface of the router and 10 users connected to another interface of this R1 router and we have 20 users connected to one interface of router so one thing you should always remember is that router is used to communicate between two different networks that means every interface of router should have different network now let's assign network ID at each interface of the router Let's say I am assigning class A IP to this interface and we are assigning class B IP at this interface and here we are using class C IP. So in class B we have 6, 5, 5, 3, 4 usable IP address and if we have 10 users in a network then we are wasting 655 IPs let's say we have 5 users connected to this interface of the router so I will be assigning IPs 20.0.0.1 20.0.0 .0 .0 .0 .0 dot 2 20.0.0 dot 3 20.0.0 dot 4 20.0.0 dot 5 
because we have only five users connected to this interface so we can only use five ips and remaining ips of class a will be wasted so to save ips we need a method through which we can divide one single network into multiple small networks so that is the reason why we use subnetting so this was the basic of the subnetting that's it for today i hope you like this video if you do then please like this video and share this with your friends and your colleagues and don't forget to subscribe this channel and press on the bell icon so that you can receive the notifications of next videos thank you for watching